Grab Summer by the Rains. Open your wagering account to receive a $125 bonus. Sign up now at TVG.com. Candy Boy is heading east for the $750,000 West Virginia Derby for good reason. He's been tabbed the 9 to 5 morning line favorite. He hasn't been set off as the post time favorite since breaking his maiden over eight months ago. We wanted to run one time at, in California before we went out on the road again because, you know, with the off race of the Kentucky Derby. So he showed us a really strong effort. In his last start, Candy Boy raced against shared belief in the Los Alamitos Derby. And once again, he had to settle for second. And away they go on the $500,000 first running of the Los Alamitos Derby. He was finishing very strong. He was about 10 lengths clear of the third horse. So um, I know how good the winner is, so I, I wasn't surprised he was second. And Cher Belief going to dominate the field and horrify him here in the Los Alamitos Derby. Candy Boy finishing second. Well, clearly. I mean, I think Cher Belief's clearly the best three-year-old around. So, I mean, we've run into him a couple of times, and, you know, we're, we're going away from shared belief. That's our, that's our plan. And that plan means shipping to the other side of the country, where almost all of the high purse derbies are being contested this summer. Well, you know, a lot of these three-year-old races are out of town, so we'll just take it one race at a time. This looks like a, a nice spot. I thought the Haskell was a little close. Um, this gives us another week, and, and you know, we're going to face a good horse in there, the Asmussen horse, um, Tapature. Tapature rebounded nicely from the Kentucky Derby with a score in the Matt Wynn Stakes. Tapature passing the 16th pole in front, and Tapature and Rosie Napravnik will take the Matt Wynn. Candy Boy will also be facing Louisiana Derby winner Vickers in Trouble. The Louisiana Derby to the Louisiana brand Vickers in Trouble. Sadler has one eye on the West Virginia Derby and one eye on what lies ahead back home. We want to go out of town now and then make sure we're at home before the Breeders' Cup. So if you're going to go out of town, you don't want to go out right before the Breeders' Cup.